Hey writers, welcome to our monthly writer life plan with me where we reflect and celebrate the current month that we're closing up in this case August and then looking forward and planning our writer goals for the next month September. So I don't know about you guys, but this month just flew by for me. I don't know where it went. That being said, it was a really, really good month and I actually have a lot of fun things to share with you guys and I'm really excited to hear how your month was and how you're doing and what kind of goals you're looking to set for next month. So this is always a lot of fun. We have a bunch of you here live. So hi, Becca, Vanessa, Nori, Hudson, Leanne, Dania, Thomas. You guys are great. Mary, Mary's birthday is coming up. Happy early birthday, Mary. Um, so I'm really, I love that you guys hang out with me live as we do this. And then if you're watching the replay, definitely feel free to comment down below um, in the comments and we can chat with you about what you have to share uh, later on. But let's get started and just jump into August and reflecting and celebrating. And we usually ask ourselves three questions. The first being, let me know what is one word you would use to describe this past month. Um, we actually got a bunch of you sharing on Instagram, on my Instagram stories today. So thank you all for sharing over here. And some of your words, if you are just here live and you're like, I don't know what word I would use. Maybe you want to borrow one of these. Um, but we have, uh, this was a couple words, a step forward, um, resetting. We had adventurous and creative, surprising, overwhelming, chaos, tiring, productive, a whirlwind, productive, finally, that was uh, Becca, I love it, um, flourishing, certain certainty, ooh, I like certainty, and preparation. Um, and we'll get into why we pick these words in a little bit, um, but I am also, before we go any further, I always love to say a huge, huge thank you to my patrons who help support and um, vote for content just like this over on my Patreon. You guys are amazing. And I just wanted to say a huge special special thank you to all of our new patrons this month who joined. Um, so thank you, Thomas and Elizabeth and Katrina and Lee and AK and Marion. You guys, I'm so glad you joined the Patreon fam. We have a lot of fun over there. But let's get into these words. I'll read some of your guys and then I will share mine and we'll go from there. Um, it's always really interesting to see all of the words that you guys have come up with. Let's see. Fast. I agree. I should have picked that word. So fast. Um, intriguing. Ooh. Motivating. Chaos. Uh, busy. Quick. Yeah, we have a lot of, like, I don't know where it went. Successful. That's awesome. Fast and busy. Hmm. Agreed. I like that one. And busy. Everybody was busy, but it was fast. Awesome. Um, okay, so for me, I picked the word pivoting. Um, and just anybody who watches Friends, pivot! Um, if you know anything about what I'm talking about, your Friends uh, fan, put a big capital, like all capitals, pivot in the comments right now, um, just so I know I'm not alone. But um, pivoting, I chose because I felt like there was a shifting this month. There was a shifting and a turning of a corner. And I'll share more details about why that is in a second, but that was my word, pivoting. Um, and I see some pivots coming up. So yay, I'm not alone. Friends, fans. Um, the next thing we love to do is pick one to three big highlights for the month. Um, and so these can be things you're really proud of and you want to remember and you just want to shout from the rooftops and share it here today with us. I'm going to share a couple and then I'm going to read a couple of your guys. For me, um, the first big highlight I wanted to share is that I hit 6,000 subscribers on YouTube. YouTube. So for all of you that are currently subscribed, thank you. Thank you so much for supporting me and being a part of my writer journey. And this is just so fun. So thank you. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, but you enjoy these videos and are having fun right now, definitely consider hitting it so that you don't miss any of the fun things we do on this channel. Um, but I chose to celebrate really should have celebrated 5k because that's more of a milestone, but I didn't for whatever reason. I can't remember why. So when I hit 6k, I was like, that's it. We're having a party. And it was a live stream and it was so much fun. We had prizes and reveals. I had special guests and um, we did games. And like I said, we did reveals um, for some of my upcoming stories. So that was really fun. Um, I included some story snippets for both On Wings of Ash and Dust and Project Handmaidens. So I read aloud some, um, some phrases, some phrases, 
like short lines from um, Project Handmaidens. And then I read the whole like first page of On Wings of Ash and Dust. So if you were there, um, uh, you had a lot of fun with us that night. We also, um, and by we I mean I, <laughs> revealed the new series title for Project Handmaidens. So even though I'll probably refer to it as Project Handmaidens here and there, there is a brand new title that I'm gonna be referring to it as. And in case you missed it, the new title is Sisters of the Shadowwood. Um, a bunch of you that saw this already loved it, and I really love it. I'm a little biased, but I really love it. I'm really excited. It feels like that much more real. And yeah, I'm just excited for you guys to read this story. So Sisters of the Shadowwood, there is a mock cover, like a fake cover that I it's not like my artwork. I just made it for funsies to like imagine what the book cover could be like. And I shared that last uh, week. And I'm going to share it one more time next week when um, I do my monthly sort of update on how my cereal's going and what I'm learning about cereals and why I'm writing it and all that kind of stuff. So uh, make sure you're subscribed and set your calendar if you don't want to miss that. And again, I'll show you the mock cover, which is pretty freaking fantastic um because it's just fun it's fun stuff so i'm gonna read some of your highlights now um let me see let me see i want to make sure i don't miss any hi amanda um brayden i didn't have any highlights this month oh man you can't think of just one happy thing it doesn't even have to be writing related you can anything you want to share with us um <gasps> katrina started a podcast with stephanie what is it called katrina please tell us um almost done with my website vanessa i cannot wait to see this i'm so super excited for you becca says i finally got back into writing and wrote the whole um act one of my thriller i did my live stream with yes we did a live stream so if you want to check out last week's video and you're interested in author website um stuff and you need tips um we reviewed a bunch of author websites and it was so fun and um she says i took some time to look after my mental health and do some self-care that is something that i did as well we're gonna talk about it in a little bit so i'm so glad you got to do that becca mary says started going back to the gym I just started working out again this week, so high five through the computer. <laughs> um, so awesome, prepped a new video for AuthorTube, love it. Um, began brainstorming a new cereal idea, yeah, more cereals. Um, BH says, started college, awesome. Worked on my book a bit and saw my sisters. We're gonna talk again too about how it's important to balance all the things in your life. Um, will you ever make a book club? Brayden, um, that is a good question. Uh, probably not right now because I have a lot of other things going on, but I think that would be super fun every once in a while. Um, if you haven't checked it out, my friend Holly Davis hosts now a monthly book club. It's called Diversity is Lit. Um, and you can check her out on AuthorTube and you can read along with her during the month and then do a discussion at the end of the month. So that you should definitely go check out. Um, Rebecca says, I got caught up on laundry. That's okay. I reached 25K in my story and my kids had a great first day back to school. That is super important, especially this year. So I'm gr grateful that it was a great day. Um, Reese says, finished my first draft of one book and final revisions of another. Reese, you are cranking out the books. This girl has so many books out right now, you guys. It's crazy. She's awesome. Um, love it too, Amanda. Oh, you're talking about my title. Thank you. I like the new title. Yay. Thanks, Jennifer. I'm entertaining my first rounds of edits for my debut historical romance novel. Woo woo. Um, oh, I'm glad you guys like it so much. I love it. I love it. Um, the Azia's Witches five episode serial. Guys, look out for that. I'm excited. Um, outlined my Neverland serial, another serial. Having a sale for my jewelry business. So many gifted people in this crew. Um, Vanessa says, ooh, excited for your Neverland. Yes, I'm excited too. Anything to do with Peter Pan, please hit me up because I love me some Peter Pan. Started my Trello board planning again. Yes, Amanda, she's freaking on her story. So cool. Um, Trello boards are really helpful, by the way. I should do another video about Trello boards because I've learned new things. Uh, if you want to find out how to use Trello to like revolutionize some of your plotting and different things like that, or even just brainstorming for your book, um, I have a couple videos on my channel. Just search Trello and um, yeah, there it's super fun. But they've added new features, so I really should do an update. Um, yay! I guess one thing would be a thought. If I thought if a book, I thought of a book plot that I'm really in love with. That is totally a win. Shout it from the rooftops. I love it. Uh, Thomas says wrote a short story and shared with a book buddy. Oh, that's so great. Did a in story song the main? Oh. 
did a story song in the main character, nope, I'm reading that wrong, sorry. Did a in a story song, the main character wrote, put, you did, oh, I love that. So your character wrote, a, you wrote the song, but you wrote it in your character's voice and put it in the story. I love that to death. Sorry, it took me a little while to read that. I don't know why. <laughs> um, Writers Unfiltered is the podcast. We should check that out. I'm excited. I always forget about podcasts because I watch so much YouTube, but I need to get back into listening to them. I don't really have any highlights this month, but I'm finally back at work. So that's kind of a highlight. That is a highlight, especially nowadays. Brie, hi, Brie. Um, begin outlining a new scary book. Ooh, that's exciting. I'm so glad to see you, Brie. Hello. Um, hello, Deb. All right, guys, I'm probably going to have to move on in a minute. There's still more comments, but we I'm just going to throw these up here so that you guys can see um, all of the comments. Um, but I do, we have so much more to talk about, and I do have a deadline that I'm going to have to leave at a certain time. So awesome. Cool. Okay. So now, oh, and I have a couple more highlights I want to share real quick, real quick. So um, Sisters of the Shadowwood. I finished draft three of episode one and I sent it off to betas. They got feedback to me and we did feedback and like brainstorming in like a really unique way. So I'm going to share more about that next week. Um, but I talked to them about feedback and then I created an editing plan to tackle um, and hopefully do like a final like enough big edits for episode one and then it just like needs tweaks um and then for ash and dust i cut more words and i have to give a big shout out to my friend savannah j goins who has been here on the channel a couple times with me because she is helping me read through my manuscript and helping me cut words because i'm just i'm staring at it and i'm like i don't know what to cut anymore but i need to get it down to 100k so thank you so much savannah um she's amazing she's also an author too you should go check her out um and i started contacting editors you guys and getting quotes and sample edits so it's really fun i've never done that before i've only like learned about it like theoretically and now like i'm actually doing it so if you'd like to see a video about my experience and what i learned in the process let me know that in the comments um but yeah i started that uh last thursday i think and it's like it's like half fun and half nerve-wracking but like mostly fun um so that's really cool and i am on module three of sarah cannon's publish and thrive course it is amazing i'm loving it um and i have lifetime access to it so i can reference uh all of this great publishing and career advice and sarah cannon uh she's here on youtube she also has a heart breathings channel that's more for writers and it's just awesome and so i'm thinking about doing a video review at some point to tell you guys my favorite things about the course and what I got out of it and stuff like that. So if that's something you like to, to, to see as well, let me know. All right, finally for August, and then we'll move on, um, is I would love to hear one thing you learned this month. This can be a victory you had or a mistake or weakness you experienced and sort of what you learned from that. Um, and yeah, I just think that this is really important to sort of look at this and then we're going to look at how we can address that next month um, and sort of move forward. So. Um, this past month, I learned that stepping back and saying no to focus on what's most important is okay and more than okay. Um, and obviously, I've learned this in the past before, but it just, I really took it seriously and acted upon it and saw the fruit from it. So I've stopped making hard and fast deadlines like I told you guys I would last month. So that's a success and it has been really helpful for me. Um, I said no to some good opportunities that just aren't right for me right now and would just add stress and not be worth it for me right now. Um, I, If you've noticed, I haven't been as active on certain social media platforms like Instagram. I am active there, just not as active as I used to be. And that's because I'm trying to be more intentional with my self-care. I'm journaling praying more. I'm trying to spend more intentional time with loved ones um, because they are precious to me and I need to spend more time with them. And um, I've been focusing more on publishing and getting that going than just building my platform. And in past months, years, it's been like working on the book and then I've gotten distracted a lot with building the platform and it's been really helpful and good and I don't regret it. But now that I'm like that much closer to publication, I'm like, I want to focus here. So that's been um, really, really good for me. And I'm going to go look back and see if I can find where I was in the comments. Um, but I want to see what you guys have learned. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, oh, the comments just jumped. Sorry, guys. Um, 
let's see. Rebecca loves Sarah Cannon. Woo woo. And Katrina loved her course. Um, well, pretty much anything Sarah does. Agreed. <laughs> Becca, I learned smaller goals work better for me than bigger goals. I get less intimidated and feel amazing when I surpass them. Yes, Becca. And like, I usually like with those bigger goals, if I do make them, I try to like break them up into like deeper, smaller chunks. Um, so then you can work towards the big goal, but like you can feel like you're getting there um, as you go. So I love that. Uh, let's see, Rebecca, I learned to give myself more time to process things that are going on around me. Super important, I love that. Um, Katrina says, I learned to give myself grace when things are out of my control, yes. Like virtual school taking longer than expected and cutting into my writing time and also draining my energy. I'm so sorry. But yes, grace, we need grace especially right now. Um, Thomas says, seeing my story through others helps to build a deeper, more meaningful story. Thanks for my book buddy. Yay for book buddies. That's fabulous. I love the term book buddy too. I've always used critique partner, but book buddy sounds more fun. I might start using that. Um, Brie, I got sick again. No. Brie, which really affected me this month. I learned that I am allergic to alcohol and I need to take better care of my body. Brie, well, I mean, that's good to know. And um, I hope you don't get sick anymore. No more sick for you. Oh, but I'm, I'm hoping you're feeling better. Um, Vanessa says, take more breaks and just focus on one thing a day. Love that. I learned or relearned to just do the thing. If I have an idea and I'm nervous about it or not ready, just do it anyway. Start somewhere. Yes. I love that. I need to put that up on my wall. Just came from Sarah's live. Woo woo. Oh, she was live on her channel. Oh, I have to go watch that. Um, I feel like I need to tell myself that all the time. Agreed. Um, I had to say no to a potential opportunity because I realized I couldn't get it finished in time. I didn't like having to tell them no, but I would have hurt myself if I tried. And that's, I've been in that situation so many times where I have said yes. And then I've been like, why did I commit to this on top of everything else? So way to go, Mary. Um, I finally found my personal perfect YouTube tech setup for now. Woo! Yes. Getting that all situated is just makes life so much easier and feel feeling better now. Yes. Oh, Brie, I'm sending you so many hugs. I, you poor thing. <laughs> hugs through the computer. Um, okay. Let's keep moving. Uh, forward, you guys have learned a lot, but now let's pull all of this. You know, I I call this like September plan with me, but like we do so much reflective reflecting so that we can really pull that into the next month and not just like keep repeating the same mistakes or not making progress, right? So let's pull what we just learned. So what we just learned here, let's pull it into September and ask ourselves, how will I allow this? Okay, this is what we learned to change me or help me grow and move forward. Um, and to do that, I want you to finish this sentence. This next month will be or I will. And I want you to set a goal or intention that's more of a mental or emotional goal, something that, again, sort of reflects on this. And then we'll get into more like nitty gritty, writerly kind of stuff and goals in the next question. But right now, let's just focus on this. And for me, this month will be freeing. Um, I'm claiming it, I'm holding on to freedom, I'm keeping it going, and I really want my focus, um, I wanna focus on what truly matters most to me, um, and I wanna not feel bad about saying no to things, so I wanna continue that, and not making hard and fast deadlines, that's been really helping me, and um, it has just been a lot better for my mental health. Um, so freeing, that's what I'm claiming for this next month. And, um, I think too, and I think I say this a little bit at the end as well, when I make a goal for self care, but, um, my friend, Alicia Grumley, who's been on my channel with me a couple times too, she is just amazing and just has really great, um, mantras and just like knows what to say when you're down and how to motivate you. And one thing she said before that I've just held on to is like, people over productivity. And I am such a doer that sometimes I get into a place where I'm just like, let's just get all the things done and I'll be fine. And I can just like focus on people and like emotions later. And um, that's not how I should be living. And that's not how ultimately I want to live. I want to put people before my own productivity. And I think life will just be that much more full and fulfilling and will actually help in even being a writer um, and being just an all around better person. So people over productivity, um, 
maybe I should have put that on the slide. <laughs> I will put people over productivity. I'm going to add that somewhere in there later. Um, so yeah, let me look at what you guys are saying. Um, you're fine, Brie. I, I edited it for you. It's fine. Um, let's see, Morgan. I am still learning how my brain works. LOL planners never seem to work. So I've developed a system for myself to get things done and manage my time better. Love it, Morgan. What what does it entail? I love, I love to know things. Um, Becca, I will put less pressure on myself. Yes. That was one of mine a few months ago, or maybe last month. I don't know, months or days, anything anymore. Um, but yes, it is so hard, but so helpful. <laughs> uh, this next month will be more restful and less stressful. I see what you did there. I like I like the verbiage. I like it. Um, yes, there's some of things you guys are saying that I'm going to have to come back and write down and put on my wall. This next month will be enlightening. I just want to keep learning what works best for me in regards to productivity and self-care. Love it. This next month will be engaging. Woo, I'm excited about that. Um, BH, better. It will be better. <laughs> Holding on to that. Yes, got it. Oh, I love it. I will be more consistent. Mm, I like this. Um, this next month, I will be more productive, but recognize my limits. That is really good, too. Uh, this month, I will be more determined. Woo! You guys are great. I love all of these. You guys. Huh. Okay, so now we're going to bring this feeling and this commitment and this intention into our actual goals uh, that we would like to accomplish. And so let me know what are one to three big goals that you have just for this next month. So let's keep it small, like Becca said, let's keep those like attainable, realistic, but still exciting goals that we, the small ones that we can do in a month. So for me, um, and again, I'm not setting any hard and fast deadlines, because, but I think I'll get there anyway, is for Sisters of the Shadowwood, which is what I can call it now, super exciting. I'm gonna keep editing episode one, working on that, and I'm might fast draft episode two and I still besides like the snippets I shared last month um, for this story um, I want to share more with my patrons this month as well um, so I'm figuring out how to do that soon and then um, ash and dust I want to keep cutting words because I'm almost down to my word count goal and you guys I have like super 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 exciting news about this project and yes, it is different exciting news than I shared at the party two weeks ago because I shared some other exciting news in, about this book in that live stream. But I'm telling you, there's something else that is super, super exciting about On Wings of Ash and Dust. And I'm not going to tell you yet because I'm not ready to reveal it. And there's some things in the air, but I'm really excited about it. And so I hope to be able to share soon. And I will probably share with my patrons uh, sooner rather than later probably sometime in the next couple of weeks. So I'm sorry I'm being vague, but it's exciting. And then, oh, this was my self, this is where I put it. The self-care goal is people over productivity. So that is going to be definitely a mantra that uh, I'm gonna be doing. So let's see here, I see some goals popping up. Um, oh, and we have another intention. I will accept that I won't put too much on my shoulders. Love it. Oh, it's Mo. Hi, Mo. Hi, Mo. I love you guys. These are like people actually know in like IRL in real life. I love it. Um, Leanne, this month I will be more productive by actually not expecting myself to do uh, too much at once. Yes. And I do think that when you don't put as much pressure on yourself or like put too much on your plate, you actually are ultimately more productive because stress is lower. So I love it. Announce a book release, cover reveal coming soon. Ah, Brie, you're killing it. I'm so excited. Um, you guys are cute. All right. Outline a new book. Holy cow. Uh, this next month, I will be more focused and intentional. Love it. Write every week for at least 20 minutes. Love it, Amanda. Love, love, love it. Um, my goal is to write 400 words a day. Easy to accomplish for me. And I may even do more than that. But as long as I hit 400, I'll be happy. Yes. And Becca, did you see the, one of these chats, one of these monthly chats, I talked about the good, better, best goals where you can say, okay, my good goal is 400 words. And if I hit my better goal, it's 500 words or 600, whatever you want to do. And then like 600 
is my best goal. And so no matter which one you hit, you get to say, okay, I hit my good goal today or I hit my best goal today. And it was just, it was just like a revolutionary, I think it was just another Sarah Cannon thing, to be honest, that she shared. Was it Sarah Cannon? I wouldn't be surprised if it was Sarah Cannon, but it was just like a revolutionary thing to me where it's like, what is the minimal, like, what can I definitely do that I can feel good about? And then what are the stretching goals um, that I can shoot for if I surpass that goal? So good, better, best goals. Love that. Uh, Katrina says, finish up this short story collection. That's exciting. Um, plot new short story with co-writer. Co-writer. Ooh, I want tips on that because I think that that would be fun. Um, read at least a night a week. Read at least a night a week. Yes. And I need to, I haven't been reading a lot lately, you guys. It makes it's making me very sad. Um, so I need to get reading again soon. I hope to reach 18K in at least one of my novels. Yes. Um, work on the first episode of the Azia's Witches. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully complete the first draft of the first episode, but I'm going to give myself lots of grace. Um, Self-care is to read more. Whew. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened there. Um, hmm. Hmm. Sorry about that. Grow the podcast. Woo! Yes. Share it with me on social media. Share it with me on Instagram because I'd love to make sure I check it out. Hi, Mo. Um, write my, sorry, I can't read today, guys. Write my next book. Conduct four YouTube live streams. <gasps> live streams! Plot the next book. Love it. Journal consistently. Outline my novel. Yay for outlining! Um, paint and be creative. Yes, yes, yes. It was Sarah Cannon. Thank you, Deb. Um, start thumbnail sketches and decide what medium I will use. Yes, Mo is an artist and she's really good. She's on Instagram. Um, P.S. You did a like mermaid. You did a mermaid sketch recently and it was gorgeous. And I think I commented on it, but I just want to let you know it was gorgeous. Um, Anna, finish my first draft of episode two of my Aladdin serial. Yes. Learn to balance work and life. Yes. Um, P.S. As I'm just going to plug this in there because it totally fits with what Anna's saying. But um, if you guys didn't know, even though like we sort of do more updates here, I do have like a whole series of videos that talks about like setting writer goals, deeper dives into productivity tools I use, and even tips about working from home. So if you want to go check out all of that, if you're trying to like balance work life and, um, and writer life and personal life and all those kind of things, uh, I mean, these are some of the tips that were a lot really helpful for me before quarantine and like my whole routine was like shifted. So things have been shifted, but um, a lot of the principles in those videos um, are really, really helpful. So uh, you can definitely check that out on that website there. Um, were you even able, hold on. I want to make sure you were able to, yeah, that was on top. Okay. So you can see it. There was a comment. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, love that. Yeah. Good goal. 400, better goal, 600, best goal, 800. Yes, I was I was thinking of those intervals too. I love it. Um, BH, read more, study smarter, improve my speed. There is a book, uh, oh, this is read more. I was gonna say, if you wanna improve your speed writing, there's a book called 5K per hour, write 5K per hour, something like that. I think it's also on my four writers page. If you go down all the way at the bottom, there's like some books that I suggest, but I think you might be talking about reading faster. So that would be different. Um, gotta go grab food for the fam. So I got a jet. Love you, girl. Love you too. Hope we get to see each other soon. Yes. Can we please, let's plan something, please. Um, Aze. Aze, Aze witches. Okay, I'm gonna work on that. You're probably gonna have to remind me a couple times. Um, I'm editing a very lengthy screenplay. Screenplay, love it. Read more. Finish first draft of my novel. Halfway there. Yes. Uh, Jellyfish mermaid. That's what it was. Yes. So cool. I love that concept so much. Um, P.S. Oh, where am I? P.S. I think you're gonna be really excited about some of the characters in Ash and Dust because there's some mermaid like fishy things going on. It's fun. Um, and getting here a little Blair, um, not Blair, Bear. Urgh. 
I was so excited when you told me that the first time I said your name or spelled it, like I pronounced it right because some people put an L in there. It's not Blair, it's Bear, and I messed it up. I'm so sorry, but love. And um, we're actually wrapping up, but the replay will be available if you click the link in the bio of my Instagram. You'll be able to get here faster. It might take a little while to sh actually show up on my channel. But all that being said, hello, and um, I hope you enjoy the replay. Um, Yes, hi there. I have to head off. Thanks for the motivation. You guys are welcome. I am going to head off too. This is always super fun. I hope it's continuing to be encouraging for you guys. Um, I think next month I might talk a little bit more, maybe like bring in an element of like this is a like productivity tool or tip that I'm using that's really helpful. Um, but I think it's been really good the last couple months to talk about mental health and emotional health and different things like that. Cause I think we're all just like super struggling with that. So I hope this has been good and thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me and don't forget next week we'll be back here at the same time, 5 PM Eastern standard time for another live stream where we'll talk about cereals and how mine is going and what I'm learning and all the fun things. So anywho, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Bye.